Good morning. Thank you. Um, well, I, I I will use um, not a balloon. I will use um, um, an imaginary drone to see the the space that around us here in the in the university. So let's assume that I am sending a drone out of this window. This is what you will see at uh, the first. This is the Mars Youth Club. Let's get a bit higher. This is the university, and a bit higher. Um, you will see here the Isawia and the uh, Adassa Hospital. And uh, okay, I will stop here. This is the picture that I want to analyze today. And uh, we are here at the red point. This is the Mice Drove, and the university is in, in the yellow uh, patch. Um, what, we, what can we? What kind of elements do we have here around in the, in the space around us? Um, so we have the village, the Palestinian village of Isawia, the, the Israeli neighborhood of, uh, of French Hill, world number one that goes from Jerusalem to the Dead Sea, and uh, this, the separation wall in, in black and the Shofat refugee camp uh, in, in the northern uh, part of the, of the picture. And we also, uh, I will speak also about uh, the open space, the desert space that uh, is in the south. And here is a, is a sensor patch that covered the military base, just uh, very near to the, very, very close to the university. Um, what is very clear at, at the beginning is that we have uh, two very big neighborhoods uh, that covered most of the picture, and they are very different from, from one each other. You don't have to be an expert for, any, for aerial photo, photography or, or for urban geography to see the differences. Um, um, French Hill is, is, is a an, an green neighborhood with open spaces, with public buildings, with um, um, uh, the, the roads are, are well paved. And Isawia is, is, is very densely uh, populated. Um, uh, most of the roads are dust road uh, that are unpaved. Um, there are no um, green areas, no almost non um, um, open, open spaces or buildings. So the first question I want to ask is um, how do you, now Isomia is not unique, of course. Almost 30% of, of, uh, of um, the residents in Jerusalem live in such neighborhoods. Okay, all the Palestinians' neighborhoods are, are pretty similar to Isomia. Now, how did we get to, to the situation of, of, of such neighborhood? Of, Brazilian Pavel in, in Jerusalem, of third, third world um, um, neighborhood. Um, so let's get a closer look on Isawia, and it's only 400 meters away from here, from the place we are now. Um, to understand the, the, um, the, the way that this, this kind of space had been created, we have, go, we have to go back to, to June 1967. Then the Israeli government took uh, a very, uh, two very dramatic decisions that actually shaped Jerusalem until today. The first decision was to annex not the small um, uh, Jordanian Jerusalem it's in the green, uh, the green uh, patch over here, but to annex a huge area, uh, the, the, the Jordanian city was about six uh, square kilometer, but Israel annexed a huge area of 70 square kilometer around it, and, and it, it all became Jerusalem. Actually, after the annexation, Jerusalem became a bigger city than Paris and bigger than Tel Aviv and Haifa together. Um, but the second decision was even more important, and, and this was the decision that uh, related to the people who lived in, in that space that just was annexed. Um, the, the Israel government didn't give them a full citizenship, um, but rather they got um, um, the, um, the status of, of residents. They are residents of Israel and not citizens of Israel. And this is maybe the most important fact that everyone should know about Jerusalem, that almost 30% of, of 
um, um, of the residents of the capital of Israel are not um, an Israeli citizens. Um, so what the connection between the boundaries and the, and the, and the, uh, and the status, the, the, the legal status of the Palestinians and the space and the neighborhood. And um, so, um, just a moment. Um, okay. Well, the big difference between citizen and, and, and there are many differences between citizen and residents. And a residents cannot vote for the Knesset, for example. But the most important difference um, um, for the space of Jerusalem is that um, um, residency can be revoked by the government, unlike citizenship. And uh, since 1967, Israel actually revoked the, the residency of uh, approximately 14,000 Palestinians, uh, um, Jews and white Palestinians. And the main reason for revoking um, the residency is what the Israeli law described as center of life, when a person is no longer live, his, 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 his life center is no longer in Jerusalem. But for, for, for living in Jerusalem, a Palestinian don't have to go to, to, to the Allenby Bridge or to the airport. It's enough that he will move to, to the wrong side of the street because Jerusalem annexed only East Jerusalem and the rest of the West Bank is still considered abroad by the Israeli law. Um, actually, what, what I put here is the, is the, um, the law that de described it, that creates the, the legal status of the Palestinian Jerusalem, is the law of entry into Israel. Like they entered Israel and not Israel entered to, to East Jerusalem. And now take the Badran family, um, for, for example. The Badran family lived in um, Kufar Akeb, in northern uh, corner of Jerusalem. In 2007, they got a letter that um, uh, the state um, uh, want to, to, to take their rights in Jerusalem because they are not living in the city anymore. They went to court and say well, the house in, is in Jerusalem. So the, the court sent someone to measure the house and he came back with those maps. And uh, it found out that the annexation line, actually the, the international border of Israel, is cutting through the house. And 35.8% of the houses in Jerusalem and 54.2% and is in the West Bank. So because, though, because of those percentage, the court decided, well, you are not living in Jerusalem, uh, you will have to lose the, your, your rights. But they appeal and say, okay, but we are all couple and we spend most of our day in bed. And the bed is over here. <laughs> it's in, in the Jerusalemite side of the it's a true story. And, uh, but the court said, no, come on, don't, don't go. I'm not going to, that's, that resolution, um, most of your house is in the West Bank. You are living in the West Bank and they lose their, their um, uh, rights in Israel. So, um, um, this is, now, now we can understand why the Palestinians in Jerusalem is a very unique uh, urban population. They are, they are not um, um, immigrate to the, to the suburbs, to the eastern suburbs, because they, they're afraid of losing their the rights and their access to the, to the city of birth. And if you will, and, and it is also explained how the Palestinians in Jerusalem uh, the percentage of Palestinian Jerusalem increased from 25% in 1967 to almost 40% today. But in the same time, the, the, um, the, the government and the municipality keep the, the same size of, of the neighborhoods, the boundaries of the Palestinian neighborhoods, it, it was the same, they, they, they didn't and, and, and extend it. So um, the Palestinian Jerusalem enjoyed only 8% of the land um, for their use, for, for housing, uh, for the Palestinians. This is a calculation that uh, the NGO BIMCOM made. Take, for example, the desert area that I mentioned before, over here, south of uh, the university. Um, a few years ago, the commission of Isawiya, uh, together with a few Israeli NGOs, and with the, with the blessing of the, of the Jerusalem uh, municipality, 
um, plan a new uh, made a new plan for 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 the for the village to to heal it, to find a place for housing and for schools and for health clinic etc. And and they plan to use this um, uh, that area. It's the only area that they can use because. Um, the university is over here, the French Hill is over here, and the award number one is over here, so this is the only area that, that, that they, can, they can use to extend the, the, the village. And, um, and, and, and actually they, 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 got, um, they got a blast of, of, of the municipality, but then the government decided to declare that area as a new uh, national park. No, trust me, this is the poorest national park in the world. Yeah. In my small garden in Beta Kerem, there are more species of animals and, and, and plants. And under, under every parking lot in Jerusalem, there are more archaeology than, than in that place. It was almost official that, I don't have time to explain, but it was almost official that, um, 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 that the reason to declare this new park is to avoid um, uh, Isawiya to use this land. Now, in the last few years, um, um, the government of Israel actually um, um, invest a great, a, a lot of money in, in East Jerusalem. And, and there, there, is, there are some improvement in, in infrastructure, in services, and in, in the Palestinian neighborhoods of Jerusalem. But, but money is it's, it's, it's very cheap currency. Actually, the, the really important currency that the Palestinian neighborhoods in Jerusalem need is land, space. And, and this is the thing that, that Israel does not want to, to invest, does not want to give them. Um, let's speak a bit about, about the French Hill. The French Hill was one of the, the two new new, new um, uh, neighborhoods um, that Israel established after, after uh, 67. And, and the reason for, for establishing it is to create what was called the Northern Wedge that connected Mascopius to, um, uh, to West Jerusalem. Because Mascopius was an was, um, um, Israeli enclave between 48 to 67. And, and it, it, it's the first time that the, the, the Israeli government um, 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 see Jerusalem not as a city that's supposed to serve its residents, but as, as a political and urban shepherd. That okay, we have to build a new a new neighborhood um, 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 because we have to block um, a Palestinian continuum between between Beit Hanina and the old city, or because we need um, to to block. A new peace uh, plan by uh, by William Roger, the, the uh, Secretary of State, um, and 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 it, it, it was very good example for it. And and since and it's going on since then. We have to build Halchuma because we want to um, um, to block the the, the Oslo Agreement, or we need to to stop the Palestinians um, to expand from uh, Beit to to Jerusalem, etc. Um, the last um, um, area I want to speak about is the is the um, um, Shafat refugee camp. When Israel established the uh, separation wall um, about 15 years ago, um, it, it, the, the wall is not going exactly on the annexation line. It actually goes in, in two areas. In, in Shafat refugee camp and in Kofar Akkad, it actually go into the um, the, the area of Jerusalem. So um, um, we have um, a Jerusalemite neighborhoods behind the fence. And there, there are approximately 100,000 Palestinians who live in those neighborhoods, and the situation there is 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 really third world. Um, um, it's 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 it's, it's un because the, the 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 Israeli authorities actually withdraw the, the police and and municipality actually withdraw from those places. And it's places of anarchy and and violence. And um, okay, I don't have time to explain about it, but um, and this is maybe the, the the worst place. Well, in, in maybe in, in, in the West Bank at all. And let's uh, take our drone back to the university. Um, 
those I, I took this picture an hour ago here in the in the uh, corridors. Um, I've been associated with the Hebrew University for 20 years now, only only second degree. Um, um, and uh, th th there's good, good thing that's going on in the university in the last few years. Actually, this year there are more Palestinian uh, students, Jerusalemite Palestinian students, who study in the university um, 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 than ever before. Um, it's, it's actually pretty hard to take a picture without a hijab in the in the frame, and it's a good it's a good news. It's a good news for for the university and for Jerusalem. And um, but I wish that the, the university will not only um, open open its gate for the for the Palestinian students, but also look around it and and take part in healing and and um, and developing the space that around it. Thank you.